um, we had to keep a very open mind about kind of what is this product, who is it for, what does it do, and just make sure that we were really led by customers and their use cases and their pain points and what they wanted next and let them guide us in a way. Um, and uh, that's been so much more successful than things I've been involved with where we've got a very fixed idea of what we want to make. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we're going to take this to market and then we're going to brief some marketeers about, you know, how do we sell this? What's our key messages? Like, how do we get people to believe these things? And I just noticed the the whole mindset of how much force you're going to have to bring to bear to reach your goals if you've already decided what it is that you want to do. You've already kind of set uh, a course about how do I convince everyone else. It's so much harder and slower than actually asking the question quite genuinely, like what do people want you to do? How do they see the problem? Uh, what words do they use to describe the solution? And then, I mean, it feels quite obvious, but then what you have to do is kind of make that thing and describe it in their terms and then let them know about it. And they just seem to say, yeah, that's my problem. Thankfully, you've, you know, you've developed something that seems to sound just like my problem. So what do I do? You, right? I click on this link and I sign up. That sounds yeah. great. And so... It's, I think it's to do with how flexible you can be, how uncomfortable maybe you can be with giving that control to your customers to let them decide what your roadmap's going to be. It's not always possible. You know, you can't do that if you're the NHS, but certainly with small businesses, I think just trying to reflect what people want, and what people sound like and how they talk and how they call things out and the words they use and, you know, all that sort of stuff. What logically comes next for them is going to be so much easier than trying to get them to kind of rethink the whole world the way you see it. In fact, it's probably impossible unless you've got, you know, lots and lots of money. That all makes, that all makes sense. I love, I love the idea of just getting back to the basics of being able to talk your customer's language, right? But, but being brave enough to see it from their perspective. Mm-hmm. And I, I love the power of that. I guess the the other the other side of the bench then is it sounds like you guys have had some incredible success and with incredible success comes some some interesting failures and challenges. So is there anything out there that you've kind of tried and tested and you just found that it just either didn't do what it said on the tin or it's not for you guys? Is there something that you've kind of wasted your time and effort on? The business that I set up before Pitch Power was uh, I would say uh, kind of an absolute failure where the only good thing that came out of it was a murder of lessons about what not to do. And hopefully they're going to be like more valuable than the losses over the, into the future. 